Hey YouTube, <laughs> this is Bryce uh, from Jack of Trades. It's been a couple months, so I'm a little rusty on um, making videos. <laughs> um, but it's that time of the year again, it is speed run season. Uh, Poor Boys RC just announced uh, the contest and the chassis. The chassis is MF01X, uh, I guess it's a rally chassis of the MF series. The MF is kind of an interesting chassis group, um, four-wheel drive, um, kind of a bare bones, um, basic chassis, uh, pogo stick shocks. I built up this uh, Volkswagen uh, Rally Beetle uh, during COVID, uh, so this car is about four years old. Um, I just built it up, I wanted to build it to box art, so I did as much as I could box art. Um, and I ran it for a couple minutes and put it on the shelf. It's a lot of work to put these bodies together and I didn't want to ruin the body. But now we're doing speed runs and we all know what that means. Uh, the body is going to get toasted. Um, I'm thinking of maybe trying to do a TTO2 body on this car instead of the uh, MF01 rally body. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I guess if I, if I destroy it I can always make a new body. Um, but there's a lot of hours going into this guy. So this car is mostly stock. Uh, I do have kind of a Ghoul RC uh, brushless motor on it. Um, that's how I built it originally, and I also have bearings in it, and that's it. Everything else is bone stock. Um, I'm running a relatively inexpensive stock servo, uh, so it's sloppy, it's slow. Um, but it's got a little pickup with that brushless motor setup. And I'm going to be running it on uh, 2S LiPo right now. I've got my uh, GNSS uh, GPS in there. So we're gonna see how fast this guy goes. I'm guessing it's probably between 20 and 30 miles an hour. Uh, but let's give it a go. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. All right. Check. Start. Okay. Let's see what it does. Steering trim's a little off. Very uh, squirrely. I'm gonna uh, put some exponents in the steering here. Let's see if that does it. I think I had the sign backwards. Let's try that. <laughs> Thanks. That was kind of um And, um, man, this car is really hard to control. This didn't roll. Really got ease on the throttle. All right, let's bring in and see how we did. Okay, let's see where my speed was on this guy. Top read. 23 miles an hour, it's about what I expected. It's not fast, <laughs> but it's something to build on. Um, I think before going faster, this thing's gonna have to get a lot more controllable. 
Okay, so we just got done doing our initial run with the MFO1 uh, X chassis. Uh, this is for the Poor Boys RC Speedrun Challenge for 2024. This is our third year uh, entering it. Um, first year was the CW01 chassis, uh, and then last year it was the TTO2 uh, chassis, and then this year it's the MFO1X chassis. Um, so I had this car, as I said, I built this up during COVID. Uh, the only hop-ups I did on it were the ball bearings and the uh, brushless motor. Kind of an Amazon special, the motor and speed controller. Um, otherwise, it is bone stock. You can tell it's a very bouncy car because of those uh, Poco stick shocks. Um, so that'll be the first upgrade that we do is putting in some CVA shocks. I have these, uh, these are the CVA Super Mini shocks for the TTO2. Um, I'm going to see if I can get these to work on this car. And then the other thing I'm going to do is get rid of these rally block tires and wheels and go with the, um, see if I can get these wheels to work. Um, these are the ones I was using for the TTO2 speed run. I might need to come up with some hex adapters. I don't recall what style um, this car uses. Uh, it's been about four years since I've touched this car. Uh, so I need to kind of start digging into it. Um, with that being said, we can go ahead and pop off the... Uh, body and have a look. It is kind of a weird chassis um, when you consider RC car chassis. It's a modular chassis in that it's built up with these kind of monorail blocks that you can adjust the length of the wheelbase. It's four-wheel drive. Uh, it has a nice decent fat uh, prop shaft um, to get power from the, um, the drive motor to the front wheels. It does have quite a bit of slop in the steering. Um, you can kind of see uh, most of that slop is attributed to this really horrible servo saver, so that's the first thing I'm going to get rid of uh, in order to eliminate the slop. The other thing is you don't have any camber adjustment on these wheels because you have these rigid uh, upper links on the front wheels. Um, the back wheels are actually tie rods, so you can adjust the camber on the back. i got to figure out what options we have in the gearbox. Um, there doesn't look like there's a lot of adjustability um, in moving this motor and put, possibly putting in a bigger pinion. Uh, so we need to figure out how we can play around with this gearbox to get more speed out of it. There are three classes in the challenge. There's a brushed, a brushless, and an open class. And once you pick that class, you're in, the, you're in that class for the duration of the contest. I'm undecided at the moment, but I'm probably going to end up in the open class uh, so I can give myself that option of, of creatively coming up with ways of making this car go faster than it ever was meant to go. Uh, what else? What else? I think that most of it's going to be in this, this weird gearbox here. Also, um, I'm thinking about running a TTO2 body, uh, which have a slightly longer wheelbase. Um, I think this is 240 and the TTO2 is like 260. It depends on the vehicle. But um, if I want to run a different body than what are the standard bodies for the um, for the MF01s, um, which have the 240 millimeter wheelbase, uh, then I need to figure out how to extend the length of this chassis. Um, which maybe, again, I don't think I have the original parts when I built this car, so um, I might have to find another kit, or I can look at 3D printing um, chassis segments to lengthen it to the wheelbase that I want. Um, of course, if you do that, you uh, do have to um, come up with the right length uh, prop shafts as well. Um, there's not a lot of real estate for electronics. Uh, there's a little cutout here for a speed controller, 10 scale speed controller. There's a little cutout here for the receiver, and then I ended up putting my uh, GPS on top of the ser steering servo. Um, I suppose if you didn't want to use these cutouts, you could put kind of a plate on top here and give yourself some real estate for your electronics. Um, yeah, so we got 23 miles an hour as is. Uh, it's a good start. It's not super fast, but it's not super slow either. I was kind of, I was, I was checking out a couple of videos of people that had done some, some kind of parking lot speed runs uh, with the MF01X chassis. Um, it looks like with a stock motor and a two cell LiPo, you're getting about 17 miles an hour um, as a starting speed. Um, so I'm, I'm pushing 23 with this setup. It's very squirrely. Before I go faster, I want to get more stable. Um, I think by adding these wheels, these are um, around 64 millimeters in diameter, so they are legal for the contest. And they should give me a small bit of extra speed. And then I'll have to look at what I did on the pinion on the motor and try to squeeze as much speed out of it with the setup I have at the moment. 
After that, we're probably looking at playing around with different motors. Um, as long as we have the stability, uh, we can we can start pushing that speed, but we gotta get stability first. Anywho, that's all I got for tonight. I haven't really touched this car in probably almost four years, uh, so it's nice to be able to pull it off the shelf and start putting it to some use. Um, it is kind of an interesting chassis. It's very compact, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can squeeze out of it. Um, thanks for tuning in and watching. Take care. Bye.